Hi, Asia Miracle TV fam. Welcome back to Asia's channel. I'm Mom Natasha. And today, I know it's been a while since we did a video for you. I'm just gonna show you her, give you like a day in the life with Asia and what's been going on with her. She's been doing great. We haven't had any, um, any of those moments where we had to call 911 or any close moments. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Because that's always annoying, right? If you know what I, if you know, then you know. And if you're watching this channel, most likely you know, but some of you guys are just watching because you just love Asia so much. And Asia loves you back. We appreciate you for loving Asia, loving on Asia. Um, it's on 90. You talking about the oxygen? The machine is beeping for post ops because her oxygen is a little um, lower than um, the machine wants it to be. So it does that and we have her pull her oxygen tank hook, hooked up to her nose. I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, yeah, sometimes she requires more oxygen than other times. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, click the bell notifications to get all notifications and make sure you take, check out Asia's social media channels. Some of them don't have anything yet, but we will be um, doing more content over there. So make sure you are subscribed, go and like and follow her Facebook page. Her Instagram and her TikTok is down in the description box below, and I'm probably gonna to try to pin it in the comments as well. Asia, she's covering her little her area, her chest area, but she was smiling, so I wanted you to see her. And she just has that little thing on her lip. Deja does that so that um because her lips get dry very often, and um, she does that to keep from pulling off the skin off the lip. She puts that little whatever that is. I don't know. I'll have to let Deja explain that to you, but yeah this thing is so loud i'm sorry about that loud noise but we're about to get her cleaned up and everything asia say hi say hi <laughs> say i miss you i miss you a thing coming out her nose <laughs> hey girl Yes. We'll make sure she's not exposed right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this as I am on her hair. It's water-based, so I don't wanna wet her hair too much, but this will give her, get the curls to pop in. I'm gonna do that. You still smiling, Adrian? I might put a little water. Because all of this, like her bedding and everything, has to be changed. So I'm probably going to do just a little bit of water. Because I haven't done this in a few days. Well, it's been a week since I put something on her hair. Hey, I'm going to spray some water. I'm going to get the water bottle and spray some water in here to get some good moisture. That's the real moisture. Oops. to get a close-up here look at that can you see I might have to do it closer but the curls are popping now see Ooh, Asia girl say get into it <laughs> say get into it yes yes 
make sure over the next few days I make sure it stays moisturized but I love the texture it just pairing out is softer and it's easier to manage especially with it so low her hair was always long as a girl growing up but it's easier for us and for her to keep it low you know low maintenance get into it get into them curls Ooh. yes girl curls popping pop 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 okay I don't know why every time I decided to record in this throughout this video Asia did not have any clothes on for some reason Deja had took her clothes off and hadn't put them back on yet so please disregard that way so you can see her <sighs> she don't have any clothes on right now she took a bath and all that good stuff earlier but this is the trait care kit that we use that they sent us and these are like I forgot what they call but these are the pieces that go Asia, what are these called again I don't, know. I don't remember but it's this piece that's right here and we have to change it every so often, so they don't have a lot of them. We have to clean it. Why is your lip cleaning again? Oh, because I just cleaned it off, put some good stuff on it. And this is the, um, what is it called? The tracheostomy tube holder. This is what goes around her neck to hold the trach in place. And so I'm just gonna cut it to adjust it to fit her neck so I used to just cut a piece off uh, like that and I'll just adjust it when it's going around her neck I had a template around here somewhere but I don't know where it is right now so I'm just going to work this and I like to keep everything as sterile as possible even though this is an unsterile room so it's not really sterile but I'm using the things that came into the Trait care kit. I'm gonna put everything on here just to keep it right there. And then inside here, they give you these two cleaners, but I really don't use this unless I need to go and clean around her trait thing because we do not, if you remember, we do not change her trait. Thank God we don't have to do that. But it gives you these. I use these Q tip swabs to clean around her trait. Um, her ostomy, what is it not? Ostomy, but her stoma and this was to clean the trach but we don't have to use that so i'll put that to the side this goes this is the split gauze that goes up under like what she has on right here and then some gauze pads for cleaning for wiping around her neck so what i do, what i do is i take a saline bullet or peroxide and put it in here and that's what i use to clean around her trach area Oh, man, all that stuff. Deja, come on. These are the saline bullets that I use if I don't use peroxide. Deja.
that's what it looks like. And then I just tear one off and put it in there. I need a clamp to hold my hair back. Um, can you give me another one of those Q-tips, please? Because this one fell on the floor. In that pack. She has a pack full of them in her drawer. No, 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 no. Standing up back there in the back. ready and everything and don't ask me why Deja already has on Christmas pajamas. Um okay. So we try to do this like really quick. I don't know if you'll be able to I probably come on that side. No I can't. I have to try to move it up here. You won't be able to see everything, but okay. Got one for wiping, one for drying, and yeah. You ready? Are you ready, Asia? So we have. I start by taking undoing this. I'm going to take her pillow. Okay. okay. That's better. I do not like when this thing is crooked. Like that. Okay, Asia. I'm going to wipe. So I take these calls out. Hold on, Asia, hold on. Okay, I got that part. Sorry about that. She's good. Let's check her numbers. Okay, this is the ventilator. See this number right here? The PIP meaning she needs suction and this is a leak. It lets us know if there's a leak in the the line right here that's connected. And that's the humidifier. And we use purified water or um, humidifier. Anything concerning her like that has to go um, like when we give her water, we use that. She's just getting a little adjusted to what we just did. But let me turn on this oxygen. Yeah, it was on. So we just want to plug up to the oxygen. While we change out. Well, they didn't change out the other little piece right there. Oh, you want another? You need another one of those anyway. Tracheostomy Ballard. And we switched those out. We can use this to suction her, but Deja doesn't like to use it. She has one that's better. Here, change that out. You took it off altogether? Oh, I guess she took it off. You don't want it? You don't want it connected? What, just in case? Where's the dirty one that I need to clean? I need to keep this. How you open this thing? So 
so that particular one it can stay um, attached that's kind of like what they use in the hospital it's called an inline in the hospital but the one we have is called Ballard suction system and so it stays attached to the tubing and everything so it's good to have it there because you can use that and when you, you can use the other method that we have. So we were supposed to do this video yesterday, but you can see it's another day. It's the next day. We didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. So we're going to be doing it, filming it in bits and pieces. Bits and pieces because it's just so much going on that to take time to stop and actually record. It's kind of like a lot going on. So apologize for that we did not film the video today we did not do the cleaning we did not do um anything we were supposed to do yesterday that i got on the camera and said we we're going to do so i postponed it to today which today is sunday we're gonna just like, just get gather some footage over the week and just show you like bits and pieces of asia's day and what and how we um care for her now so it's basically just uh spend some days with me type of video spend some days in the life with me right asia she's going to sleep now okay good morning it's the next day uh monday september 18th i believe and i'm getting ready to change i just got back home with the girls they're on fall break this week we just got back we went to breakfast to panera and um asia's and we went to a few stores <laughs> but asia's bag i just changed it last night by the way and it is leaking again so i'm going to change it her bag i think i yeah i did do i did a video on on the family channel keeping it real with us tv uh i think it was in 2019 and i showed you how i cut up her bags and stuff i used to get her bag to last I just cut this up really weird i used to get her bag to last for like a week but that was when she was heavier when she had gained that weight all that weight from being in the hospital getting sick and now she since she's lost the weight because she's not as sick as she was and all, all those different medicines and all that stuff um it's harder to keep her bag adhered to her skin so we missed the weight because it served a purpose. She looked it healthier. And that's funny how you can be healthy but not look healthy. And you can be look healthy and not be healthy. Anyway, she wasn't healthy at the time, but she looked healthy. Now she's healthier than she was, but she don't look healthy. So yeah. And plus we like that she did something so cute. With the chubby cheeks, not that she's not cute. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's just that the cheeks was just, oh my goodness, we were always grabbing them, wanting to just squeeze them, wanted to bite them. <laughs> Asia probably don't miss that, but we do. We certainly do. We miss it. So I'm just. Getting her bag sized up. This one here is kind of big, bigger than I like it to be, but we're gonna roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Get it all set up here. That was the only thing that came from Amazon, Asia, because I had ordered her a different paste. Oh. And I'll just show you some of the products that I use for changing on oh, the batteries about to die too. I'm gonna show you some of the products that I use. So I use these here. And this is just like a no steam barrier film and it's supposed to help like when they have irritations and stuff like that. I sometimes use this right here to keep it sealed around the side. I use this when she's like, okay, sorry about that battery got but um what i was telling you oh i have different types of bags that i'll be using right now i'm using this bag only because it um she has a lot of them she got them from the hospital 
and they have to have a clamp and we threw away the other clamp so i had to order another box from amazon it just came in today and it has the clamp on the bottom so this is the type of bag i'm using only because like i said she has a lot of them but when she finished these i'm not going to use them more because i don't like having to be responsible for that clip i like the ones that have the attached to it already where you just roll it up and snap it in place like that but this i prefer bags like these and then i'm using some paste medical adhesive remover some stoma powder and that's about it and then i also use this to go around to kind of raise her stomach area because her stomach doesn't sit out it doesn't it's like flush to her skin so um yeah so we'll go ahead and change her bag and then we'll come back <laughs> we will come back sometime later today because we still have to or you know get this room straightened up and cleaned up because right now deja has it a mess Hey, just say hi. Hey, we about to get started. I'm going to. Oh, that's what I gotta do first. I gotta change Aja's bag. It seems like every time I start the camera, I am changing Aja's bag. The oxygen machine needs to turn off but she don't have it connected. She wasted energy. And she needs water in her humidifier. It is sunny still out. The weather is starting to cool down. It's beginning to look a lot like fall. Well, feel like fall. The leaves still haven't fallen off, all, fallen off the trees all the way, just a little bit here and there. I'm just collecting the things that I'm going to possibly use for Asia's tray change, not tray, but um, Austin bag change right now. And make sure I don't throw away that clamp. Anybody have any tips, tips and tricks for making the ostomy bag hold up when the stoma is flush against the skin? Please let me know in the comments down below because we be struggling over here with this bag. I miss the days of it holding for over a week but it's not so bad I can do it really quick really fast I had some bags cut up somewhere but I don't know where they are right now but. so I'm just going to use this 
make it a little bit wider. Asia was in here cracking up at her younger siblings earlier. Shama and Sadine was in here and they were doing what they do and Asia was just laughing. She likes to watch she likes to watch them do what they do and be loud. <laughs> um let's see. I think that is it. I got everything. Let's set this over here. I'm gonna cut these up. I'll put them on later. Get some remover pads. Lighting this whole board. 